Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we would like to share the derivative of arc cosecant x. We can first let y be equal to arc cosecant x, which means that cosecant y is equal to x. And this implies 1 over sine y is equal to x. Next, we can let a be equal to 1 over sine y and we can apply quotient rule to differentiate a so we can let the numerator be u and the denominator be v differentiate u with respect to y we obtain 0 differentiate v with respect to y we obtain cos y and this implies that da dy is equal to v du dy minus u dv dy the whole thing divided by v squared we apply the quotient rule substitute into the formula we have sine y times 0 minus 1 times cos y divided by sine square y and this implies da dy is equal to anything times 0 we get back 0 so which means that we should have minus 1 times cos y divided by sine y times sine y so which means that we have negative 1 over sine y times cos y over sine y 1 over sine is equal to cosecant and cos over sine is equal to cotangent our intention is to differentiate a with respect to x. Unfortunately, a is expressed in terms of y instead of x. But doesn't matter, we can apply the chain rule, which means that da dx is equal to da dy times dy dx. In other words, da dx is equal to negative cosecant y times cotangent y times dy dx. And we know that by using the trigonometric identity, we have cotangent square y plus 1 is equal to cosecant square y. This implies that cotangent square y is equal to cosecant square y minus 1. And hence, we have cotangent y is equal to square root of cosecant square y minus 1. And we can now express in terms of x. Since cosecant y is equal to x which means that we have x squared minus 1 and we can now have minus x times square root of x squared minus 1 dy dx and now let's rewrite we have a is equal to 1 over sine y and this is equal to x which means that when we differentiate both sides with respect to x, we should obtain, when we differentiate dA dx, we obtain minus x times square root of x squared minus 1 dy dx. When we differentiate x with respect to x, we obtain 1. So which means that dy dx is equal to negative 1 over x times square root of x squared minus 1. And hence, we obtain the derivative. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.